Okay, next news is out of India. Gandhi's ashes stolen and photo defaced on 150th birthday. Um, back in 1948, where uh, Mahatma Gandhi's ashes had been, or remains had been kept um, after he was assassinated by a Hindu extremist, um, his, his remains have stayed there ever since 1948. And somebody has actually, or a group of people, have actually gone to um, his memorial and they've taken remains, which were his ashes, um, and they, they painted traitor in green paint across photographs. Um, Gandhi is actually considered a traitor by extremists for his activism in Hindu Muslim unity. So this is Hindu extremists. Uh, Hindu yep. extremists killed Gandhi, and they still hate him, right? Um, yes. Because he's like, hey, let's get along with Muslims, and people are like, no, none of that, please. Um, and and actually, a lot of Hindus today. Um, you know, still admire the person that killed Gandhi. A lot of Hindus um, have changed, like, changed the profile of their image, on, you know, the profile image on Facebook, on Twitter. I've seen it. They changed it to the person that killed Gandhi. Um, and and also the, B the BGP party, the Hindu party in India, which is very part, uh, popular. Uh, and uh, Modi, who's the... Uh, uh, who's the head of it now? Um, who's who got re-elected recently, right? Who's very popular in India? Um, he he's also comes from the school. Correct me, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Shupam. The uh, of the same of the person, the school of thought, or the uh, that of the person that killed Gandhi, right? Shupam, is that correct? Uh, yeah. I it's not i don't think it's exactly the school i mean they both have like uh, the same uh, yeah not school i i'm not sure about the school but uh, his mentor modi's mentor mm. he was a huge fan of gods and he like worships gods and stuff and gods is the man who killed gandhi okay so he's he's the person that called, uh, killed gandhi and what yeah. what is what how would you if you wanted to steal man i know this is very difficult to defend this position but what what is the best way to describe these people's views? What did they have a problem? What do what did people what did the killer have a problem with Gandhi, and why do people today still have a problem with Gandhi in India? Okay, first of all, uh, you know about the BJP already. Yeah. So there's an organization RSS, which yeah. is like the parent organization for BJP, mm -hmm. and it got say Nathuram got say the man who killed Gandhi was a member of the RSS. All right, so let's just break this down. Okay. We have RSS, which is a parent... Hindu group. nationalist party. A Hindu nationalist organization. Hindu nationalist organization. Yeah, I, I compare it to the KKK. Yeah, so it is very extremist. They have very, very extremist views. Uh, they are very much against Muslims. Um, they want India to become fully Hindu, is like kind of like second-class citizens for Muslims and stuff like that. And the uh, uh, and the, the both so both the remember, uh, Modi, um, both the prime minister right prime minister or president prime, yeah, prime minister prime minister prime minister both the Modi which is the prime minister both the Modi and uh, the person that killed Gandhi comes from the same organization which organization, is RS, yeah. RSS and the BGP party which is now the hen the most popular uh, party in India which just got recently elected, which uh, the M Prime Minister Modi is from, is the sub-organization of the RSS. The, yes. right? So that's, yes. that's very scary, right? That, that means like India is, is, India's now government is now deep-rooted in a very, very far-right Hindu nationalist ideology, responsible, yeah. res which is responsible for Gandhi's killing, right? Are we like... A lot of people might think like, no, we're like, they're not affiliated. Do people say that, that they're not affiliated or is this completely... Uh, people, people know they're affiliated. That's okay. a really common knowledge. But uh, the stuff that happens, for example, uh, this this stuff, uh, the Gandhi's ashes being stolen, mm. they will say that, no, they didn't do it. It was someone else. They will say this kind of stuff, right? Uh, that they didn't do it. But so we all know they did. Yes, okay, so. but but it can't be as simple as like, oh, we don't want unity, right? Like, well, how would they defend their position? Because I don't think like if you talk to one of like if you if the people that stole the ashes or the people that support Gandhi's killing, if I talk to them, 
they wouldn't be like, oh yeah, we're going, we're we're against Gandhi because uh, we don't like unity. Like they would probably use a different way of defending their position. What would they say? Uh, yeah, well, their position is like, I mean, you already know how uh, the hatred between India and Pakistan. Everyone knows that. Okay, so Gandhi was like in support for the creation of Pakistan, and just because. India lost that part of the land, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Bangladesh was also formerly Pakistan, so India lost those two parts of land, and that's why people are angry at Gandhi. How could he allow that? How could he support that formation? I mean, well, I'm not a wait. This a, I'm the formation yeah. of Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. So, what were you saying? Sorry. Go ahead. You don't personally what? Yeah. I mean, I'm not personally a Gandhi fan, but I. I'm not his fan because of different reasons, not because of yeah. Pakistan and stuff. See, like the top comment is also saying that, right? Says Andy is saying he is not the great liberator he is proposed to be, nor he is he the Messiah. Yeah, but there's a difference between not being his fan and going as far as supporting his killing <laughs> or stealing his ashes. Like that's okay. Here's different. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, uh, the RSS they call Gandhi anti-national, and that's why a member Nathuram Gorse was an RSS member killed him and stuff. But here's the thing: during the freedom struggle of India, the RSS took the side of the British and went against Indians. All right, but no, but why are you not a fan of Gandhi? Uh, yeah, because other than I his mean, wife beating stuff, like politically. wife beating and another stuff as well. I mean. Kind of pedophilia and stuff. Okay, but no, politically, are you against his positions at all? I'm not really against. I don't think he was the only reason India got independent. I mean, I'm more fan of the radical parties because, uh, come on, like, no one will leave your country just because you are getting hungry. Okay, so You're starving yourself. So I'm not. I, I think his well, well, actions were more like symbolic rather than direct. But one last question, the people that don't like the Pakistan being separated from India, like they want India to be for Hindus, right? Wouldn't yeah. wouldn't that be more difficult if all the Muslims from Pakistan? I know, I know. So I no, know. Wait, let me finish so my thought because people okay. don't know what you, people don't people that are listening don't know what I'm saying, right? If Pakistan and India never got separated, then this whole thing would become a lot have a lot more Muslims in it, and it would become a lot more difficult to have a Hindu nation. So shouldn't these people be happy that all the Muslim most of the Muslims got their own country and left because it would be even more impossible to have a Hindu country if it wasn't going to happen. So it seems like these people that are, want a Hindu country should have been for the, like we should be happy that the Pakistan got separated, no? Yeah, here's, here's the thing about that. Uh, from I've, I've uh, talked with many Indian people about this and here's what I found. They, are, they don't care about the people. What they care about is just the land area. Mm. They want to be bigger. This, you can this even a, see this, this is case. a dick measuring thing. Like bigger is better, right? Like it's yeah, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can you can see this case in Kashmir as well. Indians want Kashmir. Mm. Pakistan wants Kashmir. Right. But they don't really care about the people in Kashmir. Right, right, right. Yes, right. Okay. Let Let's not open that because that's another one hour discussion. Yeah. If we get to Kashmir, uh, we already covered that, by the way. So don't tell don't tell us like oh why army you don't talk about Kashmir. We did talk about Kashmir. <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. 
We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.